just finished building this shelf for a storage room. It's made out of two by twos, OSB sheets, and screws. It's freestanding, it's lightweight, and very strong. I have an accurate list of all the materials needed in the description below. And I also have a link up here to another video I made several years ago for another set of shelves I made using 2x4s. So that's a heavier duty uh, set of shelves that I used for my shed. So let me show you how I built it. I've picked six of the straightest eight footers I have. These things can get pretty twisted, so you want to pick the straightest ones. These are going to be for the shelves. These are eight foot long. I also have 15 at cut at 21 inches. The reason why they're 21 inches is because the two by twos are actually an inch and a half across. So two of those together is three, three from 24 inches, which is the width of our shelf OSB, will give us 24 inches. So in this dark corner of the room, I've got the rest of my material. These are the two by eight half inch OSB sheets that I have. Then I also have another six of the straightest two by twos that are cut at 65 inches. These are going to be the legs. I've got 18 of these 18 inch pieces. These are going to be support pieces for the legs. You'll see how I do that in a bit. And then for the bottom, on each of the legs, I've got six of these cut at three inches. To cut these, the easiest way is to use a miter saw station or a miter saw and a stop of some sort so you can get repeatable cuts. If you don't have that, you can simply use a circular saw if you have that. I like to clamp several pieces together and then use a framer's square to help make the cuts and they will all be consistent that way. Otherwise, you can just use a good old fashioned hand saw. The other things that you'll need are a drill with a uh, pilot bit. I've got these that um, put in the pilot hole and a countersink in one. It's for a number eight screw. So I like to buy several of those because if they break during the job, I've got more on hand and they're only a few bucks. You'll need screws, a square pencil, measuring tape, and helpful but not necessary is a drill driver. You can certainly do it with just a regular drill, but the driver makes the job easier. So the first thing I did was marked out where I'm going to drill the pilot holes for the shelves. I made sure that these were even on the end and then I came in an inch and a half and struck a line there. Came at 24 inches and then went an inch and a half farther from that. Here, 48 inches, which would be half, is where you might think you want to put that. But because we're going to be putting a leg right at that center point, I moved this support over just a little bit, three quarters of an inch from 48 inches, and then an inch and a half there. And then marked another coming in 24 inches from that end and an inch and a half from that end. Drilling pilot holes really is not an optional thing. You should do it in these two by twos because they will split pretty easily, especially on the ends. In the middle, you might be able to get away with it, but I don't like to take the chance.
So now I've got the 21 inches ready to go. I've got, I brought over these marks from those original marks I made. I've got my square here. I want to make sure that this is square. I'm also using the wall as a stop. So when I'm pushing into this, it doesn't run away from me as I drive in the screws. And we're going to flip it over and do the same thing. Make sure you flip it over this way and not sideways because the spacing isn't the same left to right. And now we're going to put the OSB on top of that. Now we'll use the one and a half inch screws to attach the OSB to our frame that we just made. You do not want to put screws right in the corner because you've got screws there. So just avoid the screws where you put them and just bring these in a little bit and you don't need to put in pilot holes. And space them about 12 to 14 inches apart. You'll run those all around the edge and then put one somewhere in the middle as well of the braces that go across. And you know where those are from the screws. So. So I have all three shells built. These are the legs. I've got the three inch pieces here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach them so that they're flush with the bottom. I'm gonna drill uh, two pilot holes and screw them in. So each one of these will have a three inch piece screwed to them. Again, I'll use those two and a half inch screws for this. Now comes the fun part. I have my first shelf here and I have two layers of two by twos supporting it all the way around. That's equal to that three inches that I put on the bottom of my legs. So what I'll do now is I need to take these with a three inch bottom and I've got all my marks I need. I'm coming in an inch and a half from each end and I already know where center is because I took care of that when I measured before. I have a mark here. I will line this up with that mark here, like that. I'm also gonna make sure that this is square to the shelf and then I will drill a pilot hole and screw it in.
and I'll do that all the way around. It's important that on the ends I come in an inch and a half so I don't interfere with that screw that's going through the end here. check to make sure that these legs are running straight up and down. You can check them on the floor and check them on your shelves. You'll be able to adjust a little bit after this next step, but you want it close. These 18 inch pieces now, or what we're going to put in now, and we're going to put them so that they make contact down here and then we're going to screw them into these legs. Now I'm going to put the next shelf on top of those 18 inch boards we just screwed in. This is fun in a tight space. And then I'll make sure that the legs line up with the marks at the same place all around. So apparently I can't count. Uh, I needed one more shelf. I was thinking three when I was making four actually. So I need one more sheet of OSB. I need three more two by twos. Um, and then I'll make that and put it on. I'll have a complete and accurate 
list of the materials needed for this project in the description below. So the last thing I need to take care of is uh, to prevent racking. Um, it's actually pretty strong as is and with light duty it probably would be fine but over time there can be some lateral forces that, that are applied to this and it can rack especially if there's a lot of weight down here. So to prevent that on the back side I'm going to screw in these boards here like this and that will help keep it from wrapping. I'll put some one here and then I'll put one on the bottom like this as well and then on the other side. These are one by threes. Use these instead of two by twos because I wanted to be able to put two screws at each location. Makes it a little bit stiffer this way. design because the shelves don't just rely on screws to help support them. You've got these support posts behind here, you can call them jack studs, that's what they're called in a house. And so it carries the load all the way from the shelf down through to the floor. So it's a nice strong design. The OSB screwed into this frame helps to carry the load all the way from front to back. Um, because those side pieces are just screwed in, but the half inch OSB will help carry that across. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support.